Hello everyone, Meg Loves Games here, and welcome back to, uh, let's build a traditional family home. Now, uh, this is where we've got to so far. Um, I must say, I'm, I'm not 100% on all of it. There are some aspects of this that I still don't like. And, um, I'm gonna leave that for now because, um, at this very point in time when I'm recording this, I haven't yet seen... The comments from the last episode because uh, this I'm recording this the day that um, it goes up but like earlier that day if that makes any sense so basically you know that this goes up on Saturdays um, it is currently Saturday morning so uh, yeah that is um, why I do not know what's going on in terms of what you've said in the comments, but um, I feel like we should work on the floor plan first. Because I feel like the shape isn't awful. I feel like it's quite a wide shape. It's just the refining on the outside, like the detailing and the roof heights and all that kind of stuff. I feel like that's the main problem we have. So, uh, camera's being a bit jumpy today. I can't explain why. But, um, yeah, I'm. Um, so we've got kind of this hallway, kind of space right here. I think it works out quite nicely as a hallway. Let's just have a look at the top. It does kind of go in a little bit, but if we use our brains properly, we can probably work out an exact space where a lovely um, staircase can fit. We also need to remember that this. Here needs a doorway at some point. This this wall here, because I adore this kitchen, bloody adore this kitchen, and I wanted to use it somewhere. And traditional family home is the exact place. Um, however, I do need to lift up these uh, cabinets. Pick the stupid place for that one, but uh, here we go. Get some light in. Lovely job. Doesn't feel quite as cozy when the. Um, cabinets are so high up but um i still think it looks really nice um i also f no i might keep the higher range it up because it's on an island i feel like it would close it off too much but other than that that's the kitchen done i do adore that kitchen i bloody adore it i love it so much i may swap that to a that just to accommodate for the uh, full length cabinet. <coughs> right then. Next up on the list is stairs. We want stairs in this house. Would be quite nice. I think I'm going to go with one of these type ones. I, I do like those. I feel like that's a decent place. Where does it stop here? Mm. Annoyingly, it's got that one square. But I feel like it wouldn't be awful of me to kind of cut that bit off and just not use that. I'd much rather it... Because it, it looks nice against the wall. So it would be nice to just have that there as a place. But um, I think here we should definitely have a small bathroom. Because a lot of houses do have a bathroom quite, by the en quite near the entrance. Mine doesn't, but um, a lot of them do. So, I uh, feel like that's a good idea. And um, an archway would probably be the best bet for the uh, advance into the kitchen. I don't know. Apart from the bloody painting that's in the way. We can shift that along, obviously. But it kind of walks into the uh, kitchen-y space. More so than the dining room space, which is nice. Well, not dining, it's more of a stovetop space, I should say. But, uh, yeah. Um, gotta work out which sort of interior doors we're gonna go with. Which one did I use there? Oh, I didn't realise there was an oak. Oh, the, the two panel door actually does have several colours, that's perfect. If it wasn't central, it would be perfect. Does this two pound? It does not. 
I want, there we go, there's something. Move colours. That one's a double. Yeah, that's the only one. Oh, and that's totally. Oh, it's a two. It's a two squared. Why are they all two squared? I want a simple one tile door in a dark wood. Is that possible, game? I don't know if it is. And in here, well, I won't. I won't decorate. Uh, hmm, my speaking is awful today for some reason. I won't decorate that just yet. I I don't know why I went to, but I did. Now, big problem we have now is there's such a huge space. This is a very huge space. This is an extremely huge space for a house. It's a very big house, and I did not expect it to be. Um, and this, bed, this, bar, this dining room I can't speak again I feel like this dining room should be here and perhaps close that off but we may reopen that if we find something that goes there perfectly and I don't know why that's returned I swear I got rid of that Ugh. but anyway there's that a very big dining room. Um, I'm gonna do another one of these close-off jobs because uh, I'm gonna create like a there's a living space. It's gonna be quite a formal living space, and then up here I'm gonna do like a study and skills room because I want them to have these these really hard-working, straight-A student children. I feel like that would be the thing for this family this traditional family and this traditional family home now uh, in terms of the upstairs floor plan this one's a bit trickier because i feel like somehow we need to kind of separate a couple of bedrooms off of this i feel like this could definitely be a master suite with a master bathroom i feel like that's a wonderful spot for it um, I'm trying to work out how many children I'd like this family family to have. I feel like three. Or, I feel like four might be the way to go with this one. I feel like a lot of like better off families have about four children nowadays. Um, and again, we're doing that kind of British thing of having really thin always. It, it just, it's a kind of British thing that um, seems to happen a lot. Now if I was being really British I'd put like a, like a bathroom along here somewhere but it, do, it doesn't quite fit so I'm going to leave it. Um, I do want a slightly sizier bathroom. Not quite that big but it's definitely sizier. Um, It's really tough picking what size to have things. Perhaps we should have like a big bathroom here then. And just kind of have this odd shaped hallway. I don't know, that, that kind of works. Um, and obviously we can't have two panel doors everywhere which is somewhat a somewhat of a pain I think we're going to have to go with this guy for a lot of them it would be nice to be able to fit two panel doors everywhere but sadly it's not the case I think I do actually want an archway for that living room actually I keep saying actually I need to stop I'm trying to work out if that's taller than that one it is. Which one did I use there? I used the normal one. Let's use, let's use the taller one. That's what I just deleted. Oh, I pressed cancel, didn't I? I know I did. It's a, it's a very Sims free thing for me to do. I just like him being a bit taller. And then I will actually do a door there. 
And let's head upstairs and work on the... Uh, a lot of the bedrooms and bathrooms are like standard four wide, which is nice because it means I can do this across the entire in, entire hallway, which is absolutely wonderful. But yeah, I could probably fit in like a walk-in wardrobe here as well. That would be cool. Could definitely have one of those mothers that likes to stay kind of stylish. It would need to be free wide, wide though, and I don't know how I could fit that in anywhere. I was thinking of having it down that side, but it doesn't quite work. And I don't want to make the bathroom any smaller, because I feel like they'd need... She'd, the mother would want a less size of... I, I have a feeling this mother is a single mother that I'm imagining. Mm, I can't quite tell why, but she just strikes me as a single mother. She feels, it feels like she's that kind of independent, oh for god's sake it's done that thing that I hate. Um, it's, she, she strikes me as a sort of independent person that has to kind of like, has, gr has kind of grown accustomed to kind of fending for herself and taking care of her children obviously. She might not be. I'm not saying that this is like a bad thing. I mean, she's a very successful person if she owns a house this big. So, uh, yeah, you should feel good about yourself, whoever lives here. But, um, for now, I'm just gonna work on walls and floors. I do, I do like houses that have that kind of, especially on the lower floor, have, like, a, a single uh, kind of flooring that runs across the entire hallway. It is, it is a, co it is a common thing. The plan is actually in my house, where, I, where I'm, well, my parents' house, I guess, because I'm kind of here, there, and everywhere. I, I try not to call it my parents' house very often, because I, I do live there most of the time. It kind of makes me feel like an adult when I talk about my parents' house being different than my own. That just scares me a bit. There is a little fly on my screen. I can see it fluttering about, which is annoying. Sorry, it just showed up and I was like, okay, fly, do your thing. Come on, st sterile. There we go. Um, I may even start putting, like, rugs into these rooms because I feel like they're definitely going to need some rugs. And they are extremely big rooms. Probably squeeze another room out of it somewhere, but... The question is, do I want to? That's a small rug, I'm not pleased with that one. That one's still too small. That one's a larger size. As is that one. Good. I'm, I'm still kind of going for this kind of muted palette. I like the muted colours a lot. I feel like they work really well. But I'm kind of neutral muted rather than grayscale muted. If that makes any sense. I'm just gonna stick that down. Oh good, they are the same size, that's nice. Gives me a little bit more choice. Um, that is entirely central, which is nice. I'm trying to work out whether I prefer no, I feel like that one's too dark. Maybe in a different colour. No, I don't agree with that one. Perhaps in this room. And maybe the blue. I think this will help when I stick in lights. Which I might do now, just to get them out of the way. It's kind of like this preparatory work to make sure that things look right. And this is a very big room, so it's going to need a lot of light. Hmm. See, my problem with this is it's got a lot of those similar kind of browns around the outside. So it looks, it doesn't look like striking enough against the floor. If that makes any sense. 
best one I've seen. Might be that one. But then again, that's like exactly the same sort of colour palette, colour palette that we have in this one. Right now, I need the grid back on to uh, do that. If you guys didn't know, you can press G on your keyboard, and it will get rid of the uh, get rid of the grid. Now, I don't like it that way because it kind of collides with the wall. I don't like rugs that hit walls. I kind of prefer them when they're central. It's, it's just another thing of mine. And that again is nice and central. I'm just pretending that bit's a square rather than a, in a concave bit, I guess. It's not really concave because it's not rounded, but shh, nobody's saying anything. And then finally, I think this one's the same size as well. Yep. I want that one to be there, actually. And I want it to be a bit more muted. Well, there's not really many colour choices for this one anyway. But yeah, I like that colour right there. I think that one works. Didn't actually realise there was quite so many choices for the uh, larger rugs. Gotta say. I like that one. I think that one would work quite quite a lot nicer in these small, these slightly more square rooms be nice if there was a few different types other than these ones with just edging because I'd like that kind of one with the blocks in like a square colour and uh, not colour why would it be a square colour Jesus we're gonna assume that this is kind of like one of those laminate floorings because laminate floorings are fine in a bathroom however normal wood gets damp and ruined and basically stinks up your house. Um, but yeah. That's that. And I think in the bedrooms we might do some carpeting. Be a bit adventurous, why don't we? Although, to be honest, there's not particularly many choices in carpeting. So, uh... Maybe super adventurous and tile some of the bathrooms. What even? Just gotta pick which tile though. Don't understand why that hideous thing is under that, but it is. I do wanna keep this kind of traditional, not quite rustic, but kind of townhousey style within the inside of this. I do wanna keep that going. I think it may actually be the right thing to do to just carry this on. I know it's really boring, but there isn't enough carpet choice for me to be able to do carpet. And that would probably be the done thing in a house like this. So, uh, sticking to rugs and, yeah, rugs and um, various other things to use the space more appropriately. Oh, I thought that was a big one then. It looked like the same shape as the big ones. I just can't wait for that one. I'd love to be able to unlock that one. I wish there was a cheat where you could just unlock them. It'd be really nice. It'd be really kind of you, EA. Please do it. Oh, that's a perfect size for that room. I'll have to keep that in mind. Um, just trying to look. It's not quite hopscotch, but there we go. I was just looking at its name. It's too small. That's the right size. Well, a lot of things could be the right size in this one. But, uh... I've got to work out what kind of children... This, um... Woman's gonna have. I feel like she's gonna have one girl who's older. And then three boys. And the, one, the, the girl is going to hate it. And everything about it. Oh, that one's too big for that. Just didn't ex expect that. Maybe we go with one of these guys instead. No. Don't feel like it's young enough. 
Because I kind of, I kind of want it to be young. I just don't want it to look too young. Because I feel like she's like in a late teens, I'd say 17 sort of age. That strikes me as her age. Gotta be one of these square ones. Is that one even the same size? Oh, it totally is, that's fine. Wait, is that one bigger? Might even be bigger. No, they're the same size. I'm just not good at paying attention. Maybe just throwing in like the light color. That might work. Anyway, next one. We can have one chap that's a little bit older, so about 14, strikes me as the right sort of age. Annoyingly that's that shape. I might take that back and go with a different colour. That'll do. And then, like, a much younger much younger child indeed no two two younger like twins twin boys handful in other words and i just want to scatter a couple of like rugs in their room just to is there a more muted one that one's kind of muted Yeah, I like that. Oh, I love those. They're quite adorable, but they don't quite fit. So I will leave them out. But I like these together. I think they work beautifully. And then, main room. We could go with something like... Which one we haven't used? I feel like the red definitely would suit her. I've cut her in my head already. And it's bad because I shouldn't. And that is too big now. I'm so surprised. No matter which way I spin it. Maybe I just play an overlapping game even though that looks slightly naff. doesn't split perfectly oh well the bed will probably cover up most of it so um yes anyway that took way longer than i was expecting it to um keep your ideas coming about um the outside because it's you know it's not done as you can see it looks a bit a bit off i still can't get why it's off but you can help me out with that um let me know in the comments what you think of what I did in this episode and last episode, obviously. Um, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time.